We've been developing a crowdsourcing platform with the National Library of Wales that allows you to take uh, any IIIF resources from anywhere in the world, register them with uh, our Emeka S modules that we've developed for the Emeka content management system, define what you want people to crowdsource, to capture from these resources, and then save what they capture into an annotation server. And so what the crowdsourcing platform is, is this kind of standards compliant middleware, IIIF in, W3C compliant annotations out. And it means it can work with anyone's source material as long as it's IIIF. So what you do to make this work is you, in your Omeka S instance with our modules installed, you start importing IIIF resources. Now this doesn't mean importing images, it just means registering the, the host institutions, IIIF collections and manifests so that the Omeka instance knows about them. And so here we've registered a particular IIIF collection from the National Library of Wales. It consists of five manifests. Each of those has many canvases uh, with photographs on them. And this, by, by registering this in Emeka, we generate this user interface. And that allows us to um, drill into the material, it allows us to go and start tagging and participating in the crowdsourcing project. So how do we know what we want to do in the crowdsourcing project? It might be as simple as tagging or transcribing documents or making comments on documents. But in this case, we want to capture some quite complex information. We want people to uh, identify the people in the photographs and provide some details about them. So again, back in the Mecca, in the back end, we define what we've called a capture model, which is a, a description of an, of, of an object we want to capture. So in this case, we've defined something called a person, and we've said it, had, it has various fields, such as name, date of birth, occupation, description, place of residence. And we've also described for each of these fields how we want the user interface to capture the information from the, the crowdsourcing user. And this information is used by the front-end components to generate um, the user interface you see here. So that information that has just been set up uh, in the Emeka backend can be used to uh, generate, in this case, some uh, date pickers and input boxes, but it could also be used to generate map pickers, uh, drop-down lists con conforming to control vocabularies, uh, um, autocomplete fields from external sources of data, that kind of thing. And this approach can, can, can get quite complicated. Again, just importing some IIIF material, here are some World War I tribunal records from uh, the National Library of Wales again. Um, and what, by defining fairly complex capture models with default regions for the images, we can help volunteers uh, transcribe this material because we can pre-fill the boxes that they want to uh, see to, to, to um, enter the transcription in. And we can just kind of keep going like this. We can define new projects and they become a Mecca S sites. We define new sources of material by registering new IIIF endpoints within those sites. We define new rules and new capture models for how the crowdsourcing project works within that site. And it should work with any IIIF material and the output of this is, triple, is W3C standard annotations that will work and can be stored in any annotation server. That's our crowdsourcing platform for Omeka S.